What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here, and I hope that you brought your math appetite because we got ourselves a beefy problem here. We got to solve this system with two, two quadratic equations. What? This is going to be straight cray. Now, for this particular type of problem, I'm not going to really try and do like an elimination thing or anything like that. What I'm going to do is since they're already both equal to y, I'm going to set each right-hand side equal to each other. Now what I can do is I can get everything onto one side. So now that I have everything to the left-hand side, what I can do is I actually see that I can divide everything by four. And that's gonna make my life a heck of a lot easier because I don't have to factor with a lead coefficient. So if I divide both sides by four, I'm gonna end up with x squared minus six x plus five equals zero. Now to factor this thing, I gotta find out what multiplies of five and adds to negative six. So to do that, I'm gonna need five and one, but they're both going to have to be negative so that they multiply to a positive and add to a negative. And now I can solve for X by setting each one of these factors equal to zero. So I'm going to get X equals five and I'm going to get X equals positive one. So those are my two X values and I'm going to use them to get my Y values. All right. So what I can do is I can plug into either one of these two equations, this X value, and I'll get my Y. I'm going to use that first one because it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. So five squared is... 25 minus 10 times 5 plus 13. If I add all that up, I'm going to get negative 12. So one of my solutions is 5 comma negative 12. Now for my other one, I'm just going to do the same thing, but this time with the 1. If I plug 1 in, I'm going to get 1 minus 10 is negative 9 plus 13 is going to give me positive 4. So I'm going to have 1 comma 4 for my other solution. These are my two solutions to this particular system. And what is that actually going to look like? It's going to look like the intersection of two parabolas like this. One's positive, one's negative facing down. They're going to intersect at these two particular points. That is pretty dope.